Hi, it's James from the 11 Plus Tutors again. Um, today I'm going to talk to you about our friend the ruler. First established, they think, with first recorded evidence, 2650 BC. So these things have been around for a long while. Even though they have, we tend to find that 11 Plus students just don't use them. Okay, so. I've done my own survey this week and I estimate in classes when I ask for rulers to come out for use them for charts and graphs purposes, I reckon only 40% have these available. The others are prepared to just do things freehand. That's what they're prepared to do. And unfortunately parents, that's what they're prepared to do in the exam that you've been preparing for. Um, so that means that this guy could mean the difference between passing and failing. Humble though this, this may be, I know for a fact that I've had kids that have passed because I've made them use this. I'll give you a couple of use cases. I don't mean this to come across as patronising, but something that I see as common sense, it seems that a nine, 10 year old is not seen as common sense. So um, it seems that we learn common sense, but unfortunately after the 11 plus exam has occurred. So I would say during um, comprehension, even if the child hasn't got a ruler, a straight edge, it's a very simple system. We scan down using the straight edge of the ruler. After our initial read where we're looking for evidence, there's our evidence underlined. Scientific studies have, have been done, especially those that are a bit ADHD like myself, that when we scan read documents, our eyes actually just jump. They jump and move around, okay? If they are jumping, they're likely to miss key pieces of information. Because the way, we, I, I believe it's the way we've evolved as humans, we're looking for changes in environment, rapid changes, so our eyes are used to moving around and scanning quickly. They're not used to moving in a, in a standard linear movement from side to side. We have to force ourselves to do that, to train ourselves to do that. So this can make all of the difference in the 11 plus exam um, in terms of finding evidence. You know, it's amazing when we go through answers, the number of kids that can plainly see what the evidence is and what the answer should be. And if only they'd use something like a ruler to locate that evidence, they just missed it. The other instance that I see, now there's not, as far as I'm aware, any measuring in the 11 plus, but a straight edge is what we need, is what I'm saying here. When we get to charts and graphs, you'd be amazed at kids that think that this is acceptable. What does this point re represent? And they'll do this, right? If at all, if, if at all. Clearly that's not gonna give us an accurate answer. So if you're gonna read off this point, we need a straight edge and we need an exact 90 degrees to get an accurate reading from the y-axis, or indeed the x-axis. I hope you found that mildly entertaining and amusing, but at the same time, on a serious note, I do hope that your children are becoming acquainted with this guy. I look forward to seeing you next time. Thank you. Goodbye.